Hey, what's up guys, and thanks for tuning into the channel. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the newly released SH Figuarts Ultimate Gohan Superhero from the new movie Dragon Ball Super Superhero. But before we get started, if you haven't yet already done so, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss another awesome review. Now here we have Ultimate Gohan Superhero, and I just want to make a little confession before I actually start this video. Um, I had this guy sitting on the table for about uh, approximately two months now, and I just haven't had a chance to get to him. And um, so now I finally have some time, and I just want to crack this guy open as quickly as I can, and uh, just show you guys what he has to offer. He seems like a very simple figure, but before we get started, let's start with the box first, of course. So here we have Ultimate Gohan here in a very kind of muscular kind of just look here. Uh, we haven't really seen Gohan like this in a very, very long time. So this is very, very cool. And I really appreciate them bringing back Ultimate Gohan, which is basically his ultimate form, the strongest that he has been. So here we see Ultimate Gohan superhero in nice metallic foil. We do have a kind of metallic background here again for this color, which I really do appreciate. And here we see Dragon Ball Super superhero. And on the bottom here, Ultimate Gohan Superhero. On the top, we see a face of Gohan there. Here we see Ultimate Gohan Superhero. On the side here, we got a bunch of product shots, which is really cool. And on the back, of course, we got your typical SH Figure Arts product shots. So yeah, and uh, I don't know if I mentioned, but this is technically the last release in the Dragon Ball Super Superhero line, at least for the regular releases. Uh, we have Piccolo, Goku, Vegeta, and now Gohan. I did pre-order the two Gammas, but those are P-Bandai, and I know for a fact that they've already showcased uh, Orange Piccolo, which I have a feeling is probably P-Bandai as well, and I pretty much... I can already assume that uh, they're going to release Beast Gohan as well as Cell Max later on as well. So, without further ado, let's crack this guy open and see what he has to offer. Alright, and here we are back with Ultimate Gohan out of the packaging, along with everything he comes with. And we can see that he doesn't really come with a lot. He's a very simple figure. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, looking at this guy here, he's a... Pretty good looking figure, and this is actually a fairly new, I would say, overall redesign of these SH Figure Arts figures, and I really do um, appreciate the redesign, especially in these hips here, as we saw previously with Krillin, but we'll get into that with the articulation. So taking a closer look here with uh, Gohan, you can see that's undoubtedly Gohan, looks very Goku-ish along with the little strand of hair here. The hair is pretty much up, um, almost similar to how he is in Super Saiyan, except um, it's not golden yellow, it's just his regular dark color. And nice purple gi, which is characteristic of Piccolo, as well as that golden belt, and these, um, I don't even know what kind of shoes you call these, but these, uh, yeah, Piccolo shoes, let's just call them that. And on the back here, pretty clean here, nothing really to see. Now in terms of articulation, head, neck is on a double ball joint, and base of the neck is on a ball joint as well, so you some, get some pretty good motion there. Arms can go all the way around, but something that's new this time that I do want to mention is that this shoulder piece is now, now attached into the body, and actually not attached to the arm now. So actually when you go when you move the arm up like this, it actually stays there, which does limit articulation a little bit, but does make it a little bit more realistic, which I do really do appreciate. So all the way down, it can go out as well, all the way to around 90, which is pretty good. We do have a bicep rotation here, a double jointed elbow, as well as a ball hinge at the wrist. So getting these arms out of the way, we have a ab crunch of that much and an extension of that much. We get a few ball joints here, which is really, really nice. Legs can kick forward that far. Very, very good. No hindrance at all. To the back, uh, he's got a big butt, so that doesn't really go too far. But out with the splits, these are really, really good. As we showed with Krillin, there's almost no hindrance in these uh, hips here, so he can do the splits very, very easily. And we'll compare this again with, say, Goku later on, just to see the difference in the articulation in the hips. We do have a thigh rotation here, as well as a double bend in the knee. Very nice. We have, I believe, a ball joint or just a swivel in the ankle here. We have a pivot that goes up and down, or hinge rather. There's also an ankle rocker that goes side to side, as well as a toe hinge that gets you to about there. So yeah, pretty good articulation. Now, let's take a quick look at uh, some of the accessories 
that this guy has. So let's make sure he stands up and let's start off with the hands here. So a pair of open palm hands, kind of uh, for like a Kamehameha, a pair of kind of open relaxed blasting hands, and we have the signature Goku battle pose hands, which I'm pretty sure he inherited or learned from his dad. And in terms of faces, here we have a kind of a scowling face and a screaming face, which do look pretty nice. And change these faces, it's a little bit more uh, involved than say the older ones. We do see we got two pegs here and then two pegs on the tops. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to take the front hairpiece, pop that off just like so, and the face will come with it. We're gonna take the hairpiece, take the face, and just pop it off. We do see two pegs that peg into there. Let's give him a scowl. We're gonna take these two pegs, plop them in there. And just take these pegs and just plop them into the head. And here we have Gohan with a skull. So yeah, that is that. Now, last thing to do, of course, is just do some comparisons here. Very simple, very easy. So here we have him next to his father, Goku. Here we have him next to Vegeta, fairly short guy. And of course, here we have him next to Piccolo. And as we can see, he pretty much has the same kind of style of um, outfit that Piccolo does, except his is just a little bit brighter. And of course, Piccolo is taller. So yeah, that is that. Now, all right, now focusing on the father and son, I just want to do a quick comparison between these two so you can actually take a look at the differences between, I would almost call this a 3.0 body compared to the 2.0 body. So the biggest thing that I want you to take a look at is the hips. Now you see here, Goku has these kind of flaps here, which I mean, kind of make the whole hip look a little bit more cohesive. But when you kind of kick forward, it's not too bad. When you kick back, it's not too bad. But when you do the splits, you see how this piece needs to fold under there. And sometimes it doesn't really work the best. But for him, it's not too bad. But for some figures, it really isn't the best. And it only gets to about here before it really starts kind of um, being hindered by this extra piece. And in some certain figures, actually just doing this or a certain motions will pop that piece off, which really kind of just um, just isn't really that good of a look. But overall, in terms of appearance, I do love this because it kind of looks make it makes everything look a little bit more cohesive. However, when we take a look at Gohan and this new hip here, we see that when we kick forward and kick back, no issues. But when we kick out to the side, there's really nothing that's impeding on say the splits here, which is really really nice because. This joint up here is his own hip joint, and the swivel down here is down here. And there's no extra flat piece that Goku has uh, that would cause any, um, pretty much any hindrance to the mobility. So there's that. Now, in terms of the arms, like I said, this one, this piece doesn't really rotate with it. And then this goes out to the side, which is a little bit, um, kind of just limits mobility a little bit, but it does feel more natural. Also, if you will take a look, this uh, elbow joint is more of a square and it's thicker as well compared to say Goku here, which is a little bit more round. It looks a little bit more fragile here. And also see when you move this, you see how this whole piece just moves with it. Um, this here does not look very cohesive because when you turn this around, it almost looks like, like as if it's kind of swiveled around, but the mobility is a little bit more easier with that. And for the arms, you can see, I just like the new one a little bit more better. It just seems a little bit more thicker, seems more buffer um, overall compared to the old one. And even in the neck, I don't know if you can take a look, but uh, the Gohan neck mold is much thicker than say the Goku one. But I mean, overall, there's not much of a difference. And the knees as well, you can see smaller joint and thicker joint here. I just feel that this new mold is definitely more sturdy and will, um, last much longer than say this older mold and um i just feel this thing just feels more cohesive and it's just a overall better figure compared to these ones here even though these ones were already good for what they were compared to the previous version of these figure arts which people call the 1.0 i just believe that um if we see more of this later on we're probably going to start calling this the 3.0 and this will now be the 2.0 so yeah just a little uh, thing i wanted to show you guys a little difference between these uh, figure arts figures over the years 
So yeah, that's my review of the SH Figure Arts Ultimate Son Gohan from Dragon Ball Super Hero. A pretty good figure, I would say. Very, very simple. Doesn't really come with a lot of accessories, as we saw here. Just two faces and uh, three pairs of hands. But it's, he's a fairly cheap figure, so if you really want to pick him up, I would definitely uh, advise so, because this is probably the best Gohan figure that we've gotten uh, to date in terms of the SH Figure Arts. We got really wanted a true adult good looking Gohan, I would definitely say pick up this one up because it is a very, very good figure. So if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by hitting that thumbs up button. And until next time, guys, take care.